After Colonel Kuchler's death, Nathaniel kept his promise to Washington. He fought at Charleston, Camden, and Kings Mountain. And he was there at the end, at Yorktown, in 1781, face to face with the Redcoats for the last time. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, the Arcadian Judge here, and today we are playing Age of Empires 3, the War Cheats. Uh, this is Mission 8 in the Act 1 Fire, and it'll be the conclusion to Act 1 Fire, which is very nice, and after I complete this, of course, there's going to be a little break in between the acts, and I'll probably take might take on a different game. So I'm playing this one base. completely we'll blind, I have not played this mission now. before. But uh, what we have to do is right. destroy the British frontier outposts. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our infantry here just take out these yes. and use the cannons to our advantage. Uh, since they have a much longer attack. range, they can take out the uh, troops quicker. And uh, it doesn't seem as though we have any villagers or anything, so we're not going to bother that. Just looking at these treasures, if there's anything of interest. An Aztec Eagle Warrior, but I don't think that is worth actually going for. Now uh, This one is just a... Axeman, so I'm not going to bother with that one either, and that one's just gold. Now, what is your I'm opinion? hoping the, I mean, your the two cannons... Yeah, they don't seem to be taking any damage. We're only going to use the cannons to take out these outposts. Um, because I do not want them... Uh, I do not want my infantry being harmed. But it looks as though... Can I... I want to try and protect these cannons as much as possible. Not doing the best job here, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, quick pull back, pull back. Don't let it die, don't let it die. That cannon is my lifeblood. Come on, come on. Okay, now it shouldn't die, hopefully. Uh, we do need these cannons to take out these outposts. There we go, there's one. Um, I think what we'll do is actually is we'll, uh, we'll pull these cannons over to the side here in case more British come down and we'll just have the troops take them out. But uh, I'm trying to avoid my infantry here being attacked by the outposts because the outposts do a good amount of damage to the infantry and I want to try and save them uh, for obviously any engagements with the British infantry. So I'm just trying to use my cannons to my advantage here. And hopefully what we can do is we can draw these we can draw these musketeers. No, 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 no. I've lost a cannon. Yeah, there's one gone. That that really sucks. Uh, oh well. You now I'll just put this cannon back on attack. And that's my own fault really for not defending it properly. Uh, as you can see the outpost has most definitely spotted us there. We're in range of it, so we're gonna pull those troops back. And we're just going to let the cannon do its job. Hopefully we're going to get some more cannons later on. I really didn't want to lose that cannon, but it's a little bit too late now. My, me being a little bit uh, noobie, I guess you could say. I don't like that word, really. Noob. Just... Good work, what on earth? That, that was it. Shot that way, army. but it managed to that. Wow. To just, right wow. Okay, so now we have villagers. Interesting. It looks like we have to build a town center. Yeah, right. I think I'm gonna have. We have ten villagers yes, here, so I'm yes. gonna split them into two going groups. Right. One's gonna go for yes, food. One's go gonna right. go for gold. And we're going to age up. What can I do? What can so I we have do? six here. We need to pull those back, and we should get some more villagers once the. Yes, I'm going now. Um, we should get some more villagers now. once the town centers built and I think what we'll be going for first is probably hmm, depends on what age we're at age two already so I'm probably going to get both of these infantry group right here gonna get these two cards and it's, you're I'm probably wondering right why am I going for right, infantry I'm cards going now going when I could right, just go for economic cards right. well I'm, go right. I'm very well imagining that right. the British are going to send more troops fairly now. soon and now. I want to have enough right. Uh, to defend now. my town centre. Also, I want to have over, uh, over an enough. And, drive the British and the reason for that is, is so that I don't lose uh, many troops. Oh, okay, I shouldn't really worry about that, should I? Bloody hell. <laughs> I shouldn't worry about that at all. Apparently, reinforcements have arrived! Wherever they yes. came from. But uh, another cannon, lovely. That's just what I wanted to see. And we're going to put these outposts 
on the outskirts of this little bank here so that we can get the enemy from both sides. And it seems as though Colonel Washington has uh, joined us. Or not Colonel Washington, should I say General Washington. And we're going to have his group meet up with uh, Nathaniel's group there. And we might go for a push, see what they sort, uh, see what sort of things they have. And we should be, yes we do, we have the uh, we have the houses that spawn settlers. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to have these settlers jump onto this right now. And we're going to build a market first, and we'll have them get collect gold quicker. Now the reason I'm getting all of my villagers onto wood now is so I can build these houses since they spawn settlers, and that's where we're going to get most of our settlers, um, the majority of our settlers should I say, for our resource gathering. And we have some more colonial troops here, so we'll send those over. If we get another card, we'll start going for infantry cards here, and obviously later on we'll get the fort and such in case we have to defend. Uh, it seems as though we have right. enough wood for another house. Yeah, so the quickest way to actually uh, let's just get let's just the get French this wood have sent word that they've arrived. So, okay, us. there's the British. Ah, these are the French. Ah, okay, so obviously, if no one knows in history, the French aided the Americans in defeating the British at Yorktown. It was uh, thanks to the French ships, I believe. It was actually the the French ships at sea that uh, stopped the British escaping and made them surrender. That was the uh, ultimate the French Navy is waiting uh, out the reason why they won because the French ships. And it seems as though we have... seems as though we have um, some hussars here, so we want to take those out first because those are very powerful against infantry. Meanwhile, we'll have the cannons take out the... Um, we'll have the cannons take out the musketeers. And of course, our giant army made short work of that. So no worries there. And it looks like we have hussars as well. I didn't realise that. So what was that? that? Okay, that was another that was another outpost. So destroy British... That's our secondary objective. Destroy British coastal outposts. Ah, okay, we have some petards. So petards are basically... Petards are basically suiciders. And they go and blow themselves up. For, for the greater good, as it were. And they do quite a bit of damage as well. And we already, look, this is the amount of houses we can build already. Lovely. Okay, so how much damage does that going to do? Lovely. Okay, that's good. So we'll use another one of those. Sadly, we can't build any more of these petards. At least I don't think so right now. So what we have is all we've got, which is a, one more. So I may have to use these four Patriot Militia to blow up the next, or at least finish off the next outpost, if they can. Um, now, as you can see here, I'm using... We're gathering a lot of wood very quickly, right. and I'm using this to my advantage because right. I can we build can lots of houses. And these houses are spawning stuff. settlers Katars, for me, which for means duty. that I don't have to worry about. Um, I don't have what to worry mean? about building settlers. I can just yes. use these houses to get my food? settlers, and thus I can start my economy up once I've built all of my right. houses. And I do apologise for my voice cracking, I have not had a drink in a little while. And there seems to be a great bombard there, which is very scary. Would you want to be... Uh, well, similar to a great... It's a redoubt cannon, but it's similar to a great bombard. And we want to be careful of those, because those do a lot of damage. It'll probably end my uh, end my cannons very easily. So we want to sort of snake... Snake? Sneak my cannons over to here so they can take out that. And hopefully they won't be in the range of them. It does have the same range as them, I believe. What's this? Bombard attack, yeah. That's just for... Uh, yes. That's just for attacking yep. ships at sea, so don't have to worry about that. Meanwhile, our petards will be... Um, what is your... uh, meanwhile, our petards will be taking out the outposts in the background. And it looks as though the French are attacking. I'm not going to help the French, I'm afraid. I'm going to probably let the French die. British coastal outposts and British. Okay, those are technically these are technically secondary objectives, so we don't really have to worry too much about them. And once our petards have, there we go. Once they've taken out that, we'll go and um, take out these Minutemen. Okay, now that we have all of those houses built, we can build more. And as you can see, our wood is uh, at a ridiculous uh, amount at the moment. And that's just because literally of all the villagers, obviously, that I've got on wood. But I'm going to keep them on wood until all of the houses are built. And luckily these uh, yes. lovely ladies are um, yes. right. building what the houses very do? quickly. And we have quite a number of ships, right. so I'm going to use those to my advantage and have them fish for me. Thus we can start getting our food uh, economy going. And at my word, yes. we are right. certainly 
getting I lots of wood. I think I'll add I'm another villager there. onto the house building so that we can get those up a bit quicker. Now there we have a limit of whoa, where did those where did they all come from? They came out of nowhere. And as you can see, uh, they now have anti artillery cannons, which we need to be careful of because they will absolutely obliterate um, they will absolutely obliterate our cannons. So we want to destroy them as quick as possible. They also have a much longer range than um, falconets. And I did not see that army coming whatsoever. I was miles away. So did we take out all of the British coastal out? Uh, we have not. Okay, then we're going to find the next one, wherever that may be. And we'll get the mining card. Yeah, we'll get the mining card. Okay, there seems to be the next coastal outpost. So we'll drag back these uh, musketeers and hopefully my colonial militia can take those out. Meanwhile, we'll send a petard over to destroy that outpost. And once we have enough wood to build enough houses, I will switch most of my villages over. So there we go. We have enough wood now. So we're going to have six here. Uh, how many have we got? We've got 11. So I'll have those start working on food. Uh, we'll pull one back and have him go to gold. I want to split this group up a bit so they don't all attack the same deer. Don't want to go for... Don't want to go for... Um, the berry bushes though because as I said last time the berry bushes take a lot longer to ta um, right. collect food from and now that we have six yes, uh, we have I'll seven do. on gold yes, don't we so right. I want three and we'll keep do? a lot on wood in fact we have, probably have too many on wood so maybe uh, we'll send seven villages over there to go and start collecting more food for us because food food will be uh, probably our most important resource It's the one that we're going to be using the most and now that we are starting to get resources, now that our economy is starting to go, we're going to upgrade all of our economy gathering. Uh, the economy gathering upgrade cards for our villagers. And I'll put these guys on gold, since there's not, not enough people on gold. And we'll also get infantry train faster. Right now, now that that's... Uh, oh, okay, we have more. Good, good. Now that we've taken out those outposts, we have more peace cards and more colonial militia. Looks as though the British are trying to get their troops, or at least their villages over here. We do not like that at all. And we have... Whoa, we have a frigate. Lovely. Now, sadly, the frigate cannot... Um, the frigate cannot fish, so he's just going to have to sit there and sort of chill. But uh, no, no worries whatsoever. Meanwhile, I'm going to have uh, this villager. Uh, we could build a bank, right. so I think I'll use that to my advantage to get a nice sliver of gold. It will produce it. gold very slowly, right. but it will produce gold nonetheless. And since I have so much, um, so much wood, I'm going to have these villagers build us a few different military buildings. We'll have two cavalry, uh, two stables, three barracks, and one artillery foundry. Since we'll probably be focusing mostly on infantry and then oh wow okay I'm gonna have to go and get my cannons to take out those cannons as quick as possible so let's pull our troops back so that these cannons have to move forward and we'll have want to take out that artillery piece as quick as possible over the fountain net and the reason I want to take out the anti-artillery first is literally because I can't build any cannons right now the British may be able to spam them but I can't so I want to take out that artillery piece as quick as possible and now that we can get a few more market upgrades yes. we'll send our colonial militia with our petards over to find the next coastal outpost of the British now the reason we're taking out these outposts is mostly obviously because uh, outposts do a lot of damage to ships they do an insane amount of damage and obviously we don't want to lose our ships to them and we seem to have found the next one so hopefully we can drag away these musketeers and fight them away from the outpost range Attack. so that it doesn't take out my patriots. Uh, in the meanwhile, we now have enough to let age up, which is lovely. And we'll get ourselves another caravel and some wood. And wow, those villagers right. built those incredibly quickly. That a lot quicker than I expected them to. And we only seem to have 11 villagers on food, which confuses me because I could have sworn yeah. I put more what on food, need? but. Oh well. I'm ready. Select two petards this time and just get them to go and take that out as quick as possible. And what units are we going to focus on? I believe I'll go for skirmishers, hussars, and we'll also be building a few uh, mortars and uh, probably grenadiers actually. Uh, but we're going to be building the mortars mostly because 
Ah, damn, those musketeers managed to take out one of my petards. That, that is a shame. It means I may not have enough for the next couple of outposts. Hopefully we've got our petards at enough time to blow up that outpost. Meanwhile, we'll have our colonial militia. What is your command? Um, take right. out the remaining musketeers right. and then take out the Minutemen. Okay, we have four villagers not doing More anything. Ships Why aren't arrived. you doing anything? Tusk, tusk, tusk. Yes. And we have another right. frigate now. Lovely. Right. Although he's going to be doing nothing either. What can I do? And I think oh, what I'll do is I'll set my villagers. It's a lot easier to set your villagers to go mine like this. So I'm basically giving them orders. For probably the entirety of the game. So once they finish this mine, they'll go to that one, then that one, and so on and so forth. And now that we are very close to aging up, I'm going to start building skirmishers uh, as well as hussars. And we'll be using the hussars to take out the cannons, probably, actually. I think I'll skip away from building the mortars. But as you can see, they also have hussars themselves. I may have to build a few dragoons, or I might be able to. Ah, no, actually, I can't build musketeers, can I? Hmm. That's a bugger. Well, anyway, now we'll go to I'll here. We have another caravel, so we'll start using him for food. And we seem to have seven villagers do? not doing anything. They really seem to be eating up this uh, all of the resources around here very quickly. In fact, we almost have enough to age up again, which is lovely. Uh, we'll upgrade our colonial militia since we have quite a few out here on the field. And now we can start building cannons. So I think I'll build two culverins to take out that redoubt. We'll probably make a big push for infantry here, and a lot less for horses, um, and we'll have a minimal amount of cannons. Yes. And since you are collecting wood, we'll have you collect these cords of wood, since it'll be a lot quicker to collect from them. As you can see, our gold took a big dip there, thanks to uh, me deciding yeah, to build ready. those culverins, which uh, is a pain. Down. But we'll just have to work with that, which means we have to get gold a lot quicker. I'm not quite sure if there are any whales in the sea, but basically, uh, in some maps, there will be whales which you can get gold from. Uh, and whales have an infinite amount of gold, which is very handy. Uh, whereas fish, which provide you with food, obviously, they, they're, they're just like the deer. They have a certain amount of food, and once they're gone, they're gone. But, uh, ah, now we can get more musketeers, so I think I will use that to my advantage. And now that our culverins are yes. complete, Attack. we'll send them to take that out. Luckily they have a lot longer this range than yes. the falconets do. So they should be able to take that out without any trouble of being attacked. And we should be very close to aging up again. And Hmm, oh, decisions, decisions. A thousand gold, two falconets, or ten musketeers. I think I'm going to go for the musketeers. Uh, they're very strong, and I think I'm going yes. to go for them, because they're good against right. horses, so we can use that to our advantage. Well, Quickly well, pull well, those well, culverins well. back. I don't know if uh, those British troops I'm are going now. to attack what them, which they attack. are. We yes, do not right. want to lose them. They cost us a lot of yes. gold, so we don't want to lose them. Luckily attack. enough, though, I don't know what on earth Colonel Washington oh, thinks he's doing oh, there. But uh, luckily, the, the Redoubt cannons just sort of sitting there, just like, yeah, I don't mind dying. It's all good. I'm ready. Yes. And now that we do have the yes. uh, Culverins, actually, since they have a longer range, we'll be able to I'm use ready. them to our advantage. Right. And um, take out the outposts along with the Falconets. And I just want to move my troops forward here a little bit, just in case. Uh, we do not want them near the outposts, though. So I do not want them to take any damage whatsoever until the outpost is destroyed. But we should, uh, now that we have four cannons, yes. despite the fact culverins don't do as much damage against, uh, obviously, buildings, since they're technically anti-artillery, they'll still do extra damage. And I think what we'll do is we'll have these guys stand here, and we'll have them stand in that stance. We seem to have found a wall here. Interesting. Not what we're looking for, but interesting nonetheless. I'm going, I'm going Did we take out all of the... We haven't taken out all right. of the British outposts yet, it seems. It. So there must be a few more across here. I'm yes, going. my I'll word. Uh, I was not expecting that at all. Okay, now, now that the outpost is destroyed, yes. right. I'm, I'm going right. to send all of my infantry in now for the slaughter. 
and we can age up. Yes. We've got our nine musketeers. We'll let them sit here until we need them. And there seems to be another outpost over there. So I want to be very careful and very wary of the trade coach because, as you can see, he he probably kills those musketeers. So we want to be very wary of, uh, of them or him. Yes. Seems to have quite a few villagers not doing anything, which is uh, my my fault. That is uh, that is my bad. Right. Right. Uh, we need some more food. Right. So I'll send you over what there. You Seem to have a villager just randomly standing here. What are you doing, sir? And once we age up, we'll be able to upgrade all of our units, which is lovely. Oh no 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 no! Yes, I'm very wary of you, stagecoach. Very wary. But now we can go and attack the British here. They seem to have a small gather in here. They seem to have a mix of troops all over the place, actually. And we want to be very careful of these longbowmen. These longbowmen are deadly because they have a much longer range than our, uh, than our, any of our men, even our skirmishers, probably. I'm really not sure what my falconets think they're doing. But I've got to quickly get my men off the trade route here before they die. And now we can attack them. British seem to be all over the place and to be very trade very carefully right now. Because you do not want to run into any of their um any of their soldiers. So I'm gonna have all of my troops here stand their ground. So stand ground, stand ground, stand ground, stand ground, stand ground. Wish I could just do this. Oh, quickly, 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 quick. Culverins, move, 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 move. Oh! Oh, look at the damage. Look at the incredible amount of damage that bloody trade route did against my um, culverins there. But now that we have aged up, we can upgrade our cannons, which is very handy. And I'm going to move my culverins here for safety reasons. Um... Probably try and attempt uh, the I'm ready. British to come out. forth, so I can attack them and then attack their um, attack. attack their outpost I'm after. So we're going to move them. Uh, the Whoa! Okay, here we go. So that that certainly got their attention. So we have our men stand their ground, and hopefully we have enough uh, patriots here. I'm going to upgrade them as well. It'd be a little bit too late, but um, I'm going to upgrade them. Hopefully they'll they'll be able to defeat the British there. Meanwhile, we have another card, so we're going to get more musketeers, and we're going to have enough mu enough musketeers to do quite a bit of damage. Okay, lovely. So we did manage to take out the British there. We're just going to move troops up to see if there are any more British before we actually send the petards forward. Attack. Ah, seems to be a hussar. So we're going to have to get his attention. Oh my word, there seems to be quite a few hussar. Not good at all. But uh, we'll get their attention. Apparently not. We'll get their attention so that they don't attack the petards. Ah, uh, which they're doing anyway. Typical. No, 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 no. Just blow up petards. Blow up before you die. Blow up before you die, petards. Ah, that's good. There we go. Attack. Okay. And that should be all of them. I, th I think. Could be wrong. I'm going now. Okay, let's just These see how our troops are doing over the here. Yes. They're still yes. attacking, which is good. Culverin didn't seem to get upgraded, which I'm surprised about because it should have. But uh, maybe I made a mistake in thinking it would be upgraded. We don't want to upgrade our howitzers, but we do want to upgrade our culverins to culverin royals. Or royals. That will make them a lot stronger. Um, some more villagers not doing anything. Again. Damn villagers. As you can see, we have a nice, healthy amount of resource coming in right now, so we don't have to worry too much about that. But we're going to switch the culverins over to attack that. And we'll use the falconets to attack that outpost. But we want to take out all of these British redoubts. Uh, meanwhile, we'll use these musketeers. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe not. Yes. Protect them for a little bit longer. Maybe it might be an idea to build some howitzers. Perhaps I shall do that. Uh, where is my... There we go. We'll build two, uh, two howitzers and use those to our advantage. Right, right. Yes. 
this. Come on, stage destroyer that. Attack. There we go. Uh, our culverins. Our culverins seem to be now be taken out an outpost. I'm taking out these outposts before I move forward because I don't particularly want yes. to lose any soldiers attack. to them. Uh, they do do um, quite a bit of damage. However, since I have 33 musketeers here, I am going to go in with them and attack this outpost and start start doing some damage to the British now. And uh, by moving them forward like that, right against the building, I can get most of them to attack it instantly, which is very handy. And uh, oh, oh, okay, we seem to have some jaggers here, uh, which are from the Germans, and they are doing some mean damage to my falconet. What is your and I have the Culver in Royales continue their bombardment. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to use... Ah! That's not good. That, we want to get out of that formation. That's going to cause a lot of trouble. Uh, no longer need any of these troops to stand still. So. And we're just going to go and send them in. Going to send them in like the British are doing right... Uh, like the Musketeers are doing. Of course, the Musketeers... Uh, the reason I said the British do is because obviously the Musketeers are uh, usually a British. Uh, is usually a British d -d 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 infantry unit. So whatever the, these are, these are sort of German mercenaries, or at least this is. Uh, you usually get these through cards. These troops are fighting right now, and they are very powerful. And I do love the way that uh, their color is black. That makes them look very cool. I think we're going to get some more musketeers. And meanwhile, what my musketeers are doing a lovely amount of damage to the British base. And we are going to start upgrading our hussars. And we're going to build 30 skirmishers. And we're going to send them forward as well. Did we get any more petards? I don't believe we did. So did we do that secondary? We did do that secondary objective. Good, good, good. So now all we've got to do is try and find the last redoubt cannon. I'm not quite sure where it can be. Because I'm not seeing it anywhere on the map. At all. Because uh, they're, they're usually in these bits. And there's our first 15. Uh, now we can start really pumping out the troops and doing some damage to the British. As much as it upsets me. That that is our objective. And we're now going to have our two armies con convalesce. Is that the word I'm looking for? We'll sort of join up and do multiple amounts of damage and we can also send in our 30 skirmishers. Now we've got a nice decent army going on now and we want them to be attacking uh, the main areas. I've forgotten which we have to destroy the British town centre which is probably this. I'm not quite sure if we're going to have... Oh no that's it we've won! <laughs> so that was literally the objective. I probably could have completed that a lot quicker if I had um, been a little bit smarter and fought that mission through. Uh, fought the objective through. My apologies. So I didn't find the second or the last redoubt cannon there, which was a pain in the butt. I probably could have just spammed mortars. I probably could have destroyed all those outposts, sent the mortars across to the sea, uh, moved them with a transport ship close to the town centre and taken it out instantly. As I said in the last part, if you guys want to see me use different tactics for these missions, different ways of completing them, please do tell me. I'd be happy to do that. I really do love playing Age of Empires 3. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit different because I usually play the missions before and have a strategy prepared. This time, obviously, I just went straight in and uh, I didn't have anything prepared. I thought I'd go in blind because I haven't played these missions in quite a while. But uh, I do hope that you enjoyed this episode, ladies and gentlemen. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. Now that I have completed Act 1, i move on to another game. Uh, for a little bit and then move back to Age of Empires or I may just delve into the next act. Uh, it'll, if anyone wants anyone wants me to continue the Age of Empires now, please do leave a comment and I'll be happy to do so. But uh, I shall end this episode here now because it's probably a little bit longer than the last one. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. Uh, take care and I'll see you next time. Until then, this is the Arcadian Judge signing out.